Hi, and welcome back to Dev Explaining channel. So today I have a quick security advisor for you. Uh, there's been a nasty exploit for Java and Log4j uh, library. And unfortunately, that's highly popular one. So there's a lot of software that's being affected, that's being vulnerable. So I wanted to do a quick uh, kind of video and uh, shortly explain what this is about. How do you know if you are vulnerable and how do you fix yourself so you are not vulnerable anymore? So let's dive into it right now. So a few days back, there was uh, kind of a lot of buzz about this new uh, zero day exploit that was found. And uh, there is a lot of proof of concept and exploits and even memes around right now for this. So who is impacted? Well, if, if you are running Java and uh, if you are then having this dependency there, you might or might not know about it. I'll, I'll get back to that. But if you are uh, running Java and using log4j as part of the solution, uh, then it's highly possible that you are vulnerable. There is a lot of things, uh, uh, scenarios in which case you might not be vulnerable, but let's go to that as well uh, a little bit later. So the library dependency that makes you vulnerable is anything that begins from 2.0 and anything that's before 2.15 official. So here it says 2.14.1, but also 2.15 release candidates are still vulnerable. So uh, permanent uh, mitigation would be that uh, you update simply your library to 2.15, uh, the official release, and then you are not vulnerable for this one any, anymore. There is also some uh, quick fixes to do a temporary mitigation. I won't go into details, but uh, you can use some Java. Uh, you can use some Java uh, command line switches to do not uh, do any lookups for log messages. Uh, that's pretty safe to, to be running anyways, unless you want to do lookups in, in your uh, logging uh, framework. Uh, there's also a possibility to modify some patterns, etc. So you can make older versions of log4j. Uh, uh, you can remove the vulnerability from there as well. So that's good news. I will drop all the links I'm showing here as usual in the description of my video so you can dive deeper and really fix things for you. But I, as I said, the quickest fix would be just to make sure you are not running log4j old versions of version 2 and update if you are. Okay, so what else? Well, um, I'm going to also drop this link so just to, uh, just to show you how severe this is. There's a list of... Uh, vendors or components that have been vulnerable and verified. And the nasty thing is that, let's say here is Apple, if you have software that accepts some something from the user interface and that something might end up in the loggings through the log4j, well, it means you might be vulnerable to things like this. So then people are able to inject uh, executable code in, in, inside your log4j. I think uh, one, one that caught my eye was Minecraft here. So Minecraft, you can attack it uh, through the chat if it's not updated. So this, this is rather severe vulnerabilities. It's easy to exploit it. One nasty thing is that Minecraft is just not a single server. There are servers here and there all around the world. And any, any servers that are not patched, any servers that have this particular version of Log4j, people might be attacking them as we are uh, speaking right now through the chat. So that's pretty nasty. There is some Python scripts available how you can measure if you are vulnerable. And uh, log4j library on Apache page is also listing the vulnerability and, and kind of talking about the fix as well. So severe vulnerability affecting a lot of software right now. So please uh, kind of be aware of this. Uh, you might have the dependency, unfortunately, even if, even if uh, you haven't uh, included it specifically, because if you're using Maven like I often am, uh, there might be a transitive dependency. So you might have declared a library that uh, lists uh, log4j 2 point something as a dependency, and then you would be vulnerable. Um, with Maven or Gradle, uh, one fast way to fix this is just to raise the latest log4j 2.15.0 as a top-level dependency yourself. So that would typically override any transitive dependencies and you would get the latest version available for yourself. 
but just um, security is kind of a rapid game these days so there might be a new vulnerability that is severe and uh, it's then immediately actively exploited so you have to play this uh, little little game you have to fix things immediately you have to first of all be aware of things like this and uh, to be honest i'm suspecting that this uh, the vulnerability has been around for quite some time and it's probably been exploited as well for quite some time but it's very difficult to fix something if you don't know that it's it's out there so now you are aware right now if you watch this video you know how severe this can be and you know how easily it can be attacked on any any software um, that puts anything that users might might input in the logs okay and by the way some people have even been uh, using this to to put these injections in the he headers in the http headers so so it's not really user input but it's still easy to exploit okay so i hope this was interesting slash useful for you um, it is pretty severe i immediately checked any software that i'm even indirectly running anywhere for this just to make sure that i'm not running those uh, vulnerable versions of log4j that's the minimum that's the least you can do right now okay well uh, if you're watching this on sunday perhaps not right now depends on your security consciousness but at least put this as very high priority at the top of backlog do it rather immediately and if you're running some hobby software or some experiment experiments of yourself it, you can you can really fix it like right now okay thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye